Hi there friends, it's good to be in touch with you again via this irregular video post. I'm sitting here at the breakfast table where Rebecca and I do our morning devotions. Recently we've been using this book which is a series of meditations based on thoughts from Henri Nouwen. Uh, Nouwen was a, a phenomenally gifted Christian thinker and contemplative of the late 20th century who, who left a, a great a uh, residue, um, treasure trove of, of thoughts and, uh, and devotional material. And we've really been enjoying getting into some serious conversation and, and some deep thought early every morning, in conjunction, of course, with, uh, with the scriptures. Um, the, the verse that's been on my mind a lot recently, but really especially today in my writing, has been from Galatians chapter 5, when Paul talks about the fruit of the Spirit being love, peace, gentleness, kindness, goodness, self-control, all these qualities of behavior that reveal that something else is going on with us and that God is actually working in our lives to produce people who are pleasant to be around and who contribute to the well-being of, of society. One of my real concerns at the moment is civility. In fact, my, my latest column which is a new series of columns I'm writing for Wake Forest Today, which is an online journal that you can find, wakeforesttoday.com. I'm talking about how very much impressed Rebecca and I have been with, with how polite and, and how kind and good-natured and welcoming people have been here in North Carolina. And it occurred to me that just the idea of general civility is, is a foundational concept in, in a free society. And to the extent which we do not treat one another with respect, and to the extent that we do not treat one another with kindness and, and demonstrate good manners, then we, we fail. In fact, we erode the bedrock of freedom. Because freedom is based on, on the understanding of trust, that I can trust you and you can trust me um, to treat one another fairly. And when, when that begins to deteriorate and we rely more on rules, or we say things like, well, prove to me that's not legal, and we rely on an ever-increasingly developed legal code to make it work, then, then we have failed to live as, as free people. I'm very concerned about this. Uh, you see this in everything from road rage to broken relationships to uh, uh, inappropriate behavior in school to inappropriate behavior in Congress, the inability of uh, opposing political factions to work together toward the common good, uh, to make any sort of attempt to understand each other. All of these things are indicative of a society which is moving away from freedom. I really believe that the greater threat to freedom and liberty than even terrorist organizations like Al-Qaeda is the uh, disintegration of, of public manners and politeness and the ability to work together. So that's my thought for today. It is grounded in scripture. Um, it's grounded in my concern. And it's also revealing something very positive here in Wake Forest. So I'm Derek Moll. I look forward to continuing my conversations with you. God bless you.